Hello and welcome to the show. Ever since Garage burst onto the scene into the early 90s, London youth just can't get enough of it. The combination of your favourite DJs combined with scantily clad ladies and fast rapping MCs just means that Garage goes from strength to strength. Not just here, but also in other parts of Europe like Magaluf, Falaraki and also Ayanapa. But is Garage a phase or is it set for world domination? We've come down to London's Oxford Street to find out. Garage has been around for nearly a year now, commercially that is, but it's been around for five years on the underground scene and Black Market here in London Soho has been at the forefront of the underground garage scene, supplying all the latest tunes to all the top DJs and some unknown DJs like myself. Basically we've come here today to um, talk to a couple of DJs and see what they think about garage and what they think about the garage scene right now. Let's go and check it out. Is it bust or is it boom, 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 selection from the cold, the chemical reaction? Boom, 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 selection. Can you feel the satisfaction? Boom, 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 selection. This is a genius production. Boom, 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 selection. First I listened to Garage when it was when it was people like Paul Travel Anderson playing the um, the dub sides of the yeah. house tracks. So I go back to '93, '94. Damn. Okay. How long have you been mixing now? About four years-ish. Yeah? Yeah, about four years. Okay, do you ever tire of Garage or think about mixing hip-hop or ragga instead of that? I don't tire of Garage because it pays the bills. Yeah, it does yeah, okay. True. I mean, the music, music in general, there's some parts of it I like and there's some parts of it I hate. But as a DJ, mm. you know, I can't be catering for myself. I've got to cater for the others, Same. which is a crowd. Music's music at the end of the day. I mean, two-step, it, it does come from the underground. You know, mm. you've still got the dark stuff, you know, the drum and bass kind of amalgamated stuff, the dark, breaky stuff, and you've got the music-based stuff, which so happens to cross over. Parts, huh? You can get songs out of Garage, basically, mm. and a good song. Here in London Soho have been around through the Garage's steady rise to fame. Um, we're going to go inside right now and see what some of the DJs inside here think about Garage. To be honest, Garage is a, um, is a, I can pull it, it's a blend of all styles of dance music. You know, that's why the appeal has been so big and so great with it, because mm. you get hip-hop elements in it, you'll get ragga elements in it, you'll get soul elements, whatever. Yeah, bit of, you can get a bit of everything into it, so there's always something to please someone. You know, whether you like the more breakbeat bassline stuff, to someone who likes the more vocal, mm. sort of MJ Coley sort of tip, you know, there, there's something for everybody, so that's... Generally, Garage is a makeup of what you call UK Garage or UK Underground. It's a makeup of all underground music, and okay. you know, and that's why it's here and being strong at the moment. Commercial is one word. You know, I mean, pop, 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 pop music is another. But at the end of the day, if something becomes popular, it is pop music. You know, and that, that's the fact of it. You know, if it, if when it's it becomes chart. if it comes chart, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's because if if loads of people like record then why not, you know what I mean, if record's popular, it's popular, mm. you know, it doesn't matter what type of music it is, so generally, I mean, I don't think Garage is getting commercial, I just feel a lot of people are m spending more time trying to make pop records mm. than just trying to make a good underground record, yeah. you know what I mean, that's the difference with, for me, what's going on at the moment, not because, I don't think there's a problem with something getting popular, I just feel people are trying to make popular stuff, rather than just making something, making a bit too commercial. yeah, just trying to make something that's down to the floor. It'll last forever, but it'll just re redevelop itself along it's the evolve. way, evolve and be something else and be something else, you know, and it'll just keep the same name along the way, you know. It's, it's about making sure that th with this music, people have got to make sure they don't pigeonhole it instead of being just another state of music that there's a bandwagon like years ago you had your disco or your funk and mm. everything died out you know mm. with garage it's much more strong than that because even down to like it's five years five years six year olds all saying do you really like it mate do you really like it do you really like it we're loving it loving it loving it we're loving it like this do you really like it is it is it wicked we're loving it loving it loving it we're loving it like that do you really like it it's all good talking to DJs and promoters, but what do the general public think of Garage today? Is it popular culture or a fad? 
I used to like it about five years ago, not anymore. I love guys' music. I love guys' music. I think guys' music is really good. I uh, find it really funky, different, um, and it's all style, something that everyone can kind of relate to. Yeah. Entertaining, gets your, gets your body moving, you know. I like yeah. it, you get me? It's not bad. Yeah, it's kicking out at the moment, but it's a shame that it's gone into the chart so much. It's alright. It's not the sort of thing I listen to at home, but if I go to a club, then it's garage music. I like garage, you know. I think there's still a few good tunes out there. Still, it's not as good as it used to be. I like garage music. Just get them pop. I don't like pop. Yeah, it's too commercial and some of it is too hard as well. And the reason I used to do garage music is because the jungle was still out then, so it was a completely different kind of music, and now it's getting too similar. It's good to rage too, you get some deep tunes and not some deep tunes, but my basics of it is some of it's a bit too, um, too shallow. Um, I love dancing, so I think dancing for me to garage music is really good because it's upbeat, good tempo and it's something good to move to. So solid crew, like their tunes get your head bouncing, you get, makes you feel lively. The style of the music really, because um, like me myself, like I try to produce um, garage tracks and that, and like um, what it is is that I feel that garage is garage is taking a turn now. It's not really garage anymore. Like in my in my terms, um, it's, more it's more commercial. Yeah, and everyone's doing the same old, same old. So you're trying to come with something different. Yeah, definitely. So you yeah. Just get bored of it after a while. It's just you know the same I mean. old thing, man. The music videos. <laughs> Okay. True, have you seen them? They're getting good. They're not tacky like they used to be. White screens, white rooms with um, a person on the piano in the background. It's meant to be underground, but now it's all in top of the pops. Got my little sister listening to it and that. Do you go, do you go raving a lot then to garage? Nah, I try not to because like the scene's getting a bit ghettoified, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Bare shootings and nonsense like that, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I go to um I go to like Barumba and that, which plays garage, but it's not like UK garage. Mm. It's like American house, American garage or Whatever, yeah. Well, live on forever. No, nothing really lives on forever. Nothing lives forever, except for if you're a Highlander. But, <laughs> um, but I think it'll evolve. It'll evolve into something else. I think it's got a long time to go yet until it dies out, until they find something better. And right now, I reckon everyone's trying to compete with different styles and stuff, but it will pretty much be a mainstream thing. I think it will stay around. Okay. Quite a long time. Raven last night. Let's see how I got on and what girls I could get. Hello with the rinsing sound. 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 Where have, you come, where have you come from tonight? Hemel. Hemel. What do you think of the event so far? Yeah, it's good. Good. Do you go to many garage dudes at all anyway? Um. You got facade. Facade You got a favourite DJ? Okay. Okay. Right. Last one. Um, any shout outs to anyone you know? Anything? Thanks very much. Cheers. Where have you come from? Edgeware, Edgeware. She comes to many, many garage dudes here at all. Pardon? She comes to many like blitz events here. Uh, we come every Thursday though here. Yeah. Okay. You got a favourite DJ? What's the name? Michael. You go um, clubbing much anywhere else? Um. Yeah. Where do we go? Leicester Square and the area as well. What do you think of the event so far? Shouts out to anyone whatsoever. Some garage ravers are naturally gifted dancers, like this guy here. Oh, this girl here. Ooh, lovely. Look at that. Pure talent.
then again, you do get exceptions to the rule, like this guy here. And his mate. Look at them trousers. What is he thinking? And this guy here. And this guy here. But this one has to get A1 for effort. Look at the 12. Well, there you have it. That's as much as the garage scene that we could fit into our small little show. But why don't you come down to London's West End and see what you could find. Garage certainly doesn't look like it's going to be a one night stand. And due to its chart success here and in other parts of Europe, it looks like it's going to be here for a long, long while. Me personally, I don't think the new garage can compare with the old 98, 99 style garage. But then again, what do I know? Garage looks like it's going to be here to stay. So why don't you come down to London's West End and see what you can find. There's some top raves down here and I'm sure Sure you'll like it. Oh yeah, I'll look for the garage, mate. Yeah, got caught up. Yeah, would you like to come, mate, tonight? <laughs> no. Nah? All right, no one ever comes, mate. Hey, hello there. I'm from Francis. Here. Garage? Um, no, we do not have this. What is this? Yeah, I have to go now. I have to buy some uh, bread. You don't want to watch it, mate? Garage? No, nah, mate. Uh, don't drive. Yeah. Anyway, I left me bike on the uh, double yellows. Sorry, mate. Gotta go. Garage. So that's stuff in it. What is this garage? That's it. Like you said, you know. What are you talking about? Sticky car. What? Yeah, that's it. You remember? You go away. No, no, that, that's what you said. Heavy tune. 